Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mackenzie, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you eight different scrunchie hairstyles. The materials that you'll need for these hairstyles are a hairbrush, a comb, I'm using a rat tail comb, some hair ties, some scrunchies, and bobby pins. To start out with this hairstyle, you're going to brush out your hair. And then you're going to take your comb and do your part. I am doing a side part. Then I'm taking my comb and splitting my hair into two sections. Now I am elasticing the section that I'm not using first. Now I'm going to be starting to Dutch braid my hair. If you don't know how to Dutch braid, I will leave a link in the description to my video that I show you how to Dutch braid. So I'm just stopping at the ends of my hair and putting one of my scrunchies in. You can use whatever color you want for this hairstyle. I'm going to be using a gray scrunchie and a white scrunchie. And this is what it looks like on this side. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on this side. I'm just putting in my scrunchie. And this is the final product. If you want, you can straighten your hair at the ends. My hair is naturally straight, so I don't have to straighten it. Or you can curl it. That would look really pretty as well. And this is what it looks like. For the second hairstyle, you're going to start off by brushing your hair. Then you can use a comb. I'm just using my fingers and I'm just sectioning off my hair right about where my eyebrows are and taking and separating it. And then I'm just brushing it back so that I can pull it into a scrunchie. And this is what the final look looks like just a half up half down hairstyle for the third hairstyle you're going to start out by brushing out your hair then you're going to use your comb and do your side part I have my side part in already. If you want, if you're trying this hairstyle for the first time, you will probably want to take and separate each side with this hair on top and this hair on bottom and hair elastic the bottom part. I find that it looks better and not as 
as neat if you don't separate it. I'm just doing a Dutch braid back and stopping here. And I'm just leaving hair over top of my ear and leaving the bottom half out. So when I get to this part, instead of grabbing all the way down here, I'm going back and grabbing some so that I'm not going down. I'm going back. And I'm just going to braid all the way down. I'm not going to add any more hair in since I have got to the edge of my head. And this is what it looks like on the one side, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just making sure that the back of my hair is flat. I'm taking my two braids and taking a scrunchie and pulling them together. And I'm taking out the braid hair ties. And this is what the final look looks like. For the fourth hairstyle, you're just going to start out by brushing your hair. Then you're going to take your comb and part your hair where you would like. I have did a side part. Next, I'm just bringing all of my hair on to one side of my head then I am separating it into two equal sections and I am just going to be doing a fishtail braid. If you don't know how to do a fishtail braid I will leave a link in the description to my video where I show you how to do two different types of fishtail braids. Now that I'm at my ends, I'm just putting a scrunchie in. And I'm just pulling out some hair and pancaking the braid to make it look a little bit fuller. This is what the finished hairstyle looks like. For the fifth hairstyle, you're going to start out by brushing out your hair. Then you're going to take your comb and do your part. I have done a side part. Now I'm taking my comb and parting my hair a little bit past where my ear is so 
so it's like that. I'm just going to hair elastic it off. And then I'm going to pull the rest of the hair to the back and elastic it. Now I am going to take and Dutch braid this section. And I'm just going to braid about halfway down. taking the back hair out and I am just pulling it into a little pony and adding my braid in and putting my scrunchie in. And I'm taking out my hair tie from my braid and this is what the finished product looks like. For my sixth hairstyle I'm going to start out by brushing out my hair. Then I'm taking my comb and doing a side part. Then I am taking and sectioning my hair off right past my ear, just like we did for the hairstyle beforehand, except for I'm doing it on each side now. And I'm just going to hair elastic the back. Now I'm going to do two Dutch braids on each side. I'm just going to hair elastic it and do the same on the other side. Now I am just going to pull back my hair into a little pony, add my two braids, and use a scrunchie to elastic them. Then I'm pulling out my hair elastics for my braids and pulling out a few hairs to frame my face and taking a bobby pin if I have any bumps to hide the bump and this is what my hairstyle looks like. For my eighth hairstyle I'm just going to start out by brushing out my hair then I am going to pull it up into a high ponytail
curled up into a high ponytail, I am going to be making a bun. So I'm going to flip my hair over my hand that's holding my hair, pull it, and hold it with this hand the ends while I twist this one. Now I'm let go in the ends, holding at the root of my hair and twisting. Now that I have it all twisted, I'm twisting it around and I'm taking a hair elastic and elasticing it now I'm taking a few bobby pins to secure it if your bun doesn't need secured then you can just skip using any bobby pins at all now that my bun is secured, I'm just taking a scrunchie and putting it around it. And I'm just pulling out some hair around my face to frame my face. And this is what it looks like. For this hairstyle, you are going to brush out your hair and do a part that you want. Then you're going to separate your hair into three sections and start French braiding. And you're going to French braid all the way down. Now I'm just putting in my scrunchie. And this is the finished hairstyle. I hope that you enjoyed watching the video and that you learned some new hairstyles that you can do with scrunchies at home that are very easy and quick and inexpensive. If you liked watching the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on my channel, subscribe down below. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a video when I post. Until next time, bye guys!